Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween in Middle School for Life. Well, with, at 15 hours and 26 minutes into the 19th day of November 2021, we have a package opening. That's right. A package just came in, and a big one. I have an idea of what it might be. Uh, although I do have a variety of things coming in. It does not take too long in opening this. I was going to pre-open it, but... You know, why not? On the air, it looks simple enough to open, so... Yeah, I knew what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ordered... The electro electronic drum kit for the music studio. So that's what that's that's what this is. This is the drum the drum kit. Open. And here we go. Digital drums, yay for that! <laughs> Gonna try them out. Uh, sometimes you need a different uh, sound. I do have other drums here. I do have these are primarily like like, like these uh, uh, homemade drum kits. Uh, oh, out of odd materials, it sounds as good as as uh, for what I need. But uh, um, it sounds as good as the real thing. But uh, this gives me uh, more of a, uh, an option in terms of uh, how things are going to end up working out. So anyways, in terms of the music options so, uh, for percussion. So anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for now. And I will see you in the next transition, transitions video, uh, transition sec section of the vlog. Well, uh, this is a rather late transitions vlog. It's uh, uh, 3 a.m. It's uh, three hours and oh, just three hours in three hours into the uh, 20th day of November 2020. Month 21. I've been going through a uh, bit of a burnout, a bit of a crash all day today, so there was no observation. And skewed all the times. There, all the times are slightly off. Uh, I was able to watch on uh, my YouTube show. I was able to watch um, Yai vlogs, and Ali is now back. You know, doing her own component within the vlog. The same thing with um, with uh, Carly. She's doing the same thing too. Although Carly is producing more of her own vlogs than she do, than as compared to Ali, but. Everyone goes through these different crises differently. It's difficult to keep yourself in the in the uh, public eye. It's difficult to keep traffic to keep traffic coming to your channel. The thing is, is you don't want to pander to the lowest common denominator. You want to put out what you want to put out. You don't want to sacrifice what you're doing in terms of your own dream or or, or what have you. So you do what you do, and you're trying to reach as many people as possible. And have this what we call the organic growth. There are a lot of options out there that are coming to me right now that offer that, 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 that will I could pay for viewers. I would increase my viewership. There you go. Here you, I pay X amount of dollars and I increase my viewership. I increase my popularity. I increase my this and that because there are people out there who will go out and promote my name. Oh, it will do promotion for you. But the thing is, is if you want organic growth, then the promotion isn't necessarily going to work. So. This is uh, why you would not choose something like that if you wanted something that is more authentic, something that is more uh, not, so, you know, not simply following a particular trend. You want to go further than that. And this is what I do. This is, this is based on my research. These are the notes. The vlogs, the observation vlog, and now the notes vlog are the rough draft essays. And so this is, this is how things progress. It's not for everybody. Not every. I don't expect to have large audiences, but uh, I, I think I do okay from my perspective. I do know that my even though the numbers aren't up there where they should be, or where they could be, uh, I see improvement. I do see my ideas getting out there. 
I see people have seen my ideas and they've done the same thing I do, or they're talking about what I've talked about. So what happens is, as long as the information gets out there, regardless of not, regardless of whether you you've, you're, you're being recognized for this or not, particularly with the the good ideas that help move things in a positive direction, then that's a good thing. It doesn't matter if if you're not uh, uh, lauded for your or, or, or recognized for your accolades, for your for your for your your greatness. <laughs> That doesn't matter if the, if the world is going to destroy itself. It doesn't matter how much you're being applauded for. Uh, even if you have ideas that will sort of turn this around. If the world is going to end up destroying itself. And you do nothing but pat yourself on the back. Then it doesn't matter. Because the world is going to destroy itself. But when ideas that you have that are good are getting out there regardless of whether you're recognized or not, and it's causing a shift, that's a good thing. And these are things that, are, that occur over a long, again, a long period of time. You're looking at three, four months, maybe longer to change things. Uh, and, and once you, uh, particularly once you're consistent with your argument, and you're not simply following a particular trend, people start to say, okay, well, maybe this guy's got a good idea, and start considering things more, and you provide a voice that is out in the lone wilderness, and that's slowly but surely other people start to join you. So, so initially you're by yourself, it's a lone voice, people see the stuff, all stand up and say the same thing. I'll join them. And slowly, one by one, the crowd grows. And this is how you do things. You either work with violence, like the left does, the, uh, the, the, the anarchists do, you go out and be violent in terms of anti-establishment, or you work peacefully and you bring out the argument. You, you work out with the argument. You persuade people, hey, this is not a good thing. Let's try something else. And, let's, and at the same time, let's not be violent about this. Let's let everyone have their ideas. As long as, if, if a person's not being violent with their ideas, well, why bother forcing them to change their ideas? Let them change their ideas on their own. Let them have an, what called an organic experience and sort of decide for themselves what they want and what they don't want. That's the way you move things. But the thing is, is that not all the people see this. Thing. Some people get angry. They get they they want to have violence. They want to get out there and beat people up. They want to kill people. They, you know, because they've been triggered or whatever. And this is not my this is not my form of anti-establishment. This this my form of anti-establishment is the conversation. This is how it changes things for the better. If you want more war in the world, hey, go at it. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. I said I'm happy to see uh, Ali and Car uh, Carly back in the vlogs again. Uh, you know, you, when, you, when you come up with people, you, you you like who they are. You get the you get the sort of have an understanding of who they are, uh, and you like you, you don't want to see them sort of fall out and sort of not have a good uh, uh, a good existence on the internet. If, if that's what they want to do, just because things have changed and it's no longer the way it was before. So, uh, anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for now. And I'll see you uh, later on. Well, I finally made it to the end of the YouTube stroll. Oh, oh. Mm, see what day it is. The 21st. Once again, I lose track of the day. <laughs> so, I have something that happens on a more continuous basis than uh, I realize. Uh, anyways, it's three, hour and three hours and 12 minutes into the 21st day of uh, November 20, uh, 21. Uh, yeah, yeah, November 21, uh, 2020, 2021. Ooh, that was a lot to say. As I say, I am reaching the end. Uh, of this transition, my coherence is kind of falling off. This is the fatigue. I can't keep my eyes open. Uh, but I did go by Yali Lug. Ugh, Allie had left uh, Disney in California and gone back to uh, Utah. Mm. 
And I didn't go by our family nest yet because uh, I, uh, I haven't uh, had a chance to do that. I was supposed to, but uh, I went uh, to It's Our Life. Uh, then from there I went to uh, Leroy's. And then Kesley Jade had something. Then from there I went to uh, 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 It's Our Life. No, it's our life. It's uh, uh, Sister Forever Vlog. Or, and that's now called Family Forever Vlog. Uh, then I went by, uh, and I came by here in Mc McNeil's. And <sighs> now things are starting to fall off the wagon. <laughs> It means I'm tired. Things are starting not going as well as as I expect. So that means uh, I'm going back to bed. I'm continuing my burnout weekend. Uh, I didn't vlog. I didn't uh, do any observation or vlog for the uh, verbal essays uh, last night. I'm not. Didn't do it again tonight. This this last night. This you know the 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 the, the, the this. Uh, evening that passed, the Saturday evening, I didn't go out. Uh, I'm not going to be going out tomorrow night because I have other things to do. I have other work projects to work on. I won't be back uh, doing the observation until basically Monday night. Uh, but we'll see how I end up feeling Monday night in terms of, because the weekend's going to be very long. And I might be uh, still in the burnout stage uh, then. So, uh, Anyways, uh, I think this is going to be it. And I'll say good night for now. We'll go out to one transition. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. It's uh, three o'clock in the morning now. Six hours is nine. Uh, I could be back here around ten o'clock uh, uh, for another pit stop uh, to refuel once again. Anyways, uh, see you then. Trying to log all the transition points. Well, this is one transition point at uh, ten hours and ten minutes into the. Uh, 21st day of November 2021, and uh, I, the pit stop has been rather short. It's been about 40 minutes so far. Uh, I'm going back to bed now. I needed something to eat as a pit stop, watch some cartoons, uh, particularly Kim Possible. And then I'll be uh, probably around 1, 2 o'clock, I'll be out for the rest of the day. So... Uh, uh, you always feel like, particularly when you're on the, on the burnout days, you, you when you have when you are forced to slow down. There's often the thing where you look and see what you've accomplished in terms of what's left over, and what's left over is so enormous that uh, in many ways you feel defeated, even though you are making progress, even though you're making, you, you're pushing your way forward, uh, there is always the things that need to come up, that need to sort of be done, the remaining, the remainder of the list of things to do is so large that uh, you feel like you've gotten nothing done. I guess this is the sense of being in middle school, that, uh, uh, well, you're not in elementary school anymore, but at the same time, you're also not in high school. Uh, so pl place it in that aspect of the thing is that uh, you know this is what happens if if knowledge is infinite. At what point in time do you actually start uh, catching up? <laughs> so uh, again, this is the way life is, and uh, this is uh, the way I kind of exist. So I'll see you in the next transition point. Well, we're finishing up a little early. I've got to adjust this a little bit. We're finishing up a little bit early. Uh, it's uh, just uh, 23 hours into the 21st day of uh, of November uh, 2021, and this is our transitions vlog. Uh, didn't think I'd be here tonight. There is a feast at the church that I was supposed to be there all night with, but uh, things uh, event intervened. Uh, my mom got sick, and we had to call a doctor to the house. And uh, it's, it's not a uh, flu or anything like that. She has got problems with uh, arthritis, uh, problems with her hip as well. 
and they've been, she's been having muscle spasms to the point where we had to call a doctor and we sort of adjusted her, medica- uh, adjusted her medication so that uh, she is on uh, a different form of medication that will help control the pain. Uh, it's a ma- unfortunately, when a person is in this condition, it's a matter of riding through the pain. And it's not an easy thing to do because you have to walk them through the pain. It, you have to sort of sit there. And right now my dad is watching her. I was able to sort of talk to my mom and give her the information so that when the doctor got there, she was able to talk about the different medications that, that would, would, would work with her, that she would thought would be the good idea. Uh, the doctor agreed and now has prescribed the medicine. And so she is uh, now taking the medicine. Of course, it's going to take between 24 and 48 hours for the medicine to fully kick in and really do its bit because it does take a, the body a while to absorb everything. Uh, and so at the same time, they're wa- she's watching her pulse. She's watching for side effects uh, just in case something happens. And this is the thing. Anytime you're taking a drug for the first time, you do have to watch uh, the person's reaction to the drug uh, for 24 to 48 hours. Then once you have the 24 to 48 hours, then you can relax and just do it on a weekly basis. Once you've done two to three weeks, if you're still on the drug, uh, then you're now looking at a uh, monthly basis. You're looking at things on a monthly basis until you get six months in. Hopefully, she, it won't be that long. It might be that long. It really depends on her how her body responds to the treatment that's, cur- that's currently uh, being given. So right now, we're at the early stages. We're in the 24 to 48 hours. I'll be calling again around 11 o'clock tomorrow morning sort of see uh, what the uh, situation is and going from there. Anyways, I was talking about in the in the, uh, in the uh, vlog, the observation vlog, about uh, comments that I have. I'm a nerd. So let's deal with the first one, Hi, SpongeBob, and I'm the creepiest guy on the Internet. Oh, well, yeah, okay, yeah, because I'm a nerd. The U- YouTube used to be a, a, gr- a playground for nerds. It was primarily nerds. It was primarily people who went to anime shows dressed up for, an- for anime cons and so on and so forth. It eventually became popular enough that sort of, you know, everybody got involved. Sorry about that. My nose is running. Ugh. It's about 35 degrees out here. Okay. 35, 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Why is a scientist who was doing observational physics in, uh, in, in atmospheric physics and uh, acoustical physics using Fahrenheit. It should be using Celsius. Celsius is a good scale to use when you're doing chemistry. It is not good for the human body. It does, it's not an appropriate scale. The appropriate scale for the human body, this gives you enough mo- movement up and down in terms of your graduations, and it's Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit does the job. If they were using Fahrenheit instead of Celsius, and talking about the, the change in temperature, about two degrees and two degrees Celsius is about about five, maybe six degrees Fahrenheit. So instead of talking about oh, the, the temperature is going, the average temperature of the Earth, let's say, is going to be eighty degrees, you're now talking about eighty four degrees. So you're up four degrees in the Fahrenheit, on the Fahrenheit scale. That's about two degrees Celsius. You could push it to eighty five. On approximation, but the thing is, this this is the kind of the ballpark you're talking about. We're we're we're, we're on, on the Celsius scale. You know, I'm talking about one and a half, two point two points. So that's why I, I prefer using the Celsius. Uh, but that's not here to there. That's it. This uh, the it, YouTube is and was the place for nerds. A large chunk of people now are now leaving YouTube. It's hard getting views again. That's because the popularity is more or less gone. And so you have to, it's going back to what YouTube used to be. YouTube used to be a place for nerds and anime con freaks and so on and so forth. This is why I was sort of talking about Allie and, and, and uh, hopefully because uh, uh, Carly Reese, he sort of isn't into that sort of nerdy, nerdy type of thing where she likes Disney parks and stuff like that. She's off on a different tangent. Uh, but Allie, Allie the Rose is uh, she is a Disney nerd. She's a Disney princess. So this is, YouTube is the perfect environment for her. I mean, this, 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 you talk about people who, this is what the YouTube store, you talk about how people live on the internet, you talk about people 
in their presentation on 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 YouTube. And this is it. I thought a car was coming, but it's not here. Just the wind. It's the wind blowing things around. Uh, there's another vortex coming through. This one, when it have fast moving weather, and I see, uh, I see this on, on the fast moving fast moving clouds. You always get uh, a lot of wind with it. So you can translate the physics in terms of the thermodynamics into weather, but the weather, the climate, it's all atmospheric physics. It's all basically an observation of thermodynamics. Oh, Heather is saying. You want to see how people behave. You want to see how people deal with things. And so we're watching Allie LaRose deal with her issues with Disney. And she was rejected by Disney as a Disney princess. But as I said, this doesn't necessarily mean she has to, that her dream of being Disney is over. She just simply has to sort of redirect it and become that Disney nerd on YouTube. She's already got, a, got enough of a follow. She's back on her on her family channel, uh, the uh, Yowie Vlogs. So she's making enough money, because Yowie Vlogs has enough enough viewership that she can make she can make a good enough living off of it so that she has an environment so sort of exist in. Uh, but the thing is, at the same time, she can if she wants to, but again, it's, it's hard. It, it's, it's not... It's not fun watching your videos get five, five views, ten views. You know, have uh, you know, be very low down on terms of, of the popularity. But then you have to build that popularity. You have to let people. Hey, I'm not just a regular violin camp. I'm a Disney princess, and come out as a Disney princess. You know, come out as a Disney princess and make most of your vlogging content about Disney, about the makeup, the costumes, the 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 figurines, the uh, uh, the d different collectibles that you can get from Disney. It has to be a Disney nerd channel. And if she doesn't do that, it's not going to succeed. But I think I think she can. I think she's moving in that direction. She seems to be moving in that direction. I hope she moves in that direction. And I hope she's successful at becoming a Disney nerd. And here's what happens. And I've seen this happen before. These nerds are out there for a while. Disney will take a look at that and say, hey, this is a good marketing opportunity. They'll start shifting product. They'll start sponsoring her because they'll shift product to her. She's got enough youth. Hey, let's give her this. Let's give her that. And this is what happened on the other vlogs. They started giving them toys from different companies because there was enough popularity there. Hey, let's get our product in there. It's product placement. And companies will pay for product placement. You don't actually have to go, you don't actually have to, go to them. They'll come to you. Once you're out there enough, you have enough views, companies will come to you. And that's how you get paid. That's how you earn your keep there. And I think this is something that Ally can do. I'm, I'm, I, you know, I hope she does. I hope she continues along. I know there is a bit of a struggle. There is you know, disappointment. But this is sort of, it, it doesn't matter what you do. There's always the hard part in the beginning. There's always the sort of, oh, the depressing part, that's what's called the, the, the crap load that you have to walk through. In order to get to heaven, sometimes you have to go through hell. And this is this is part of the reality of being a vlogger, part of the reality of being a nerd on YouTube. So you do it. Because what else are you going to do? If I'm a nerd, I don't go anywhere. I don't have a social life. So this is how I live. And so, yeah, okay, I'm the creepiest guy on, on online. I'm I, I, I have Spongebob in the background. I like Spongebob. I watch a lot of Spongebob. Uh, but I also have a lot of other cartoons that I watch. So, you know, and I think that my, the whole reason why I have the Kawhi Tea House that's on this channel here is because this was my, my nerd existed. This was my, my anime. This is, the Kawhi Tea House is my 24 hour, seven day a week, 365 days, a year round anime con. This is what it is. I live anime. I live the cartoons. I'm no longer reading anime. I'm living it. I've brought it into my reality. And then again, I'm pan Asian, so I've got a, I've got all the recipes. I know how to cook all the stuff. So I most of my food is pan Asian. So, anyways, uh, 
that's it for this transition. It's about 10 minutes in, and we'll see how uh, things end up working out in terms of the actual length of the vlog. And I said, these are the notes. These are uh, the, the rough points here and there. And so uh, uh, we'll keep them that. We'll, we'll be probably coming back uh, tomorrow. Well, well, yeah, tomorrow, which is going to be in a few minutes. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, but about uh, 50 minutes will be tomorrow. It'll be the 22nd. I've got deliveries coming in. That's why I didn't go to church. Uh, the second reason I didn't go to church, I would have gone in the morning, but the deliveries coming in. Uh, I have these apps that track my packages and let me know when the packages are coming in. And they said they're coming in tomorrow. So uh, I got to be here. Anyways, uh, I will see you uh, later on. We are Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween in Middle School for Life.